experiment. We will only be gathering one set of data. So we, we will be measuring the voltage across the uh, generator here. From this multimeter. We're going to be measuring the amount of head available at the nozzle. We're also going to be measuring the RPM of the Pelton wheel. And also the volumetric flow rate. see that the pressure starts to rise and the Pelton wheel wants to start turning so let's increase it some more you can see it's slowly rising so this experiment will be uh, at a constant head so we will be using uh, 85 centimeters as our constant head so I will increase it until it reaches 85 That's about 85 centimeters. So, we'll start off by measuring the voltage across the generator. And right now, we are applying, we are connected across the two, uh, 20,000 ohm resistor. This is a 10k ohm plus a 10k ohm in series. This is the full bridge rectifier, it's the electric generator. So the voltage across is around, I don't know if you can see it, but it says 9.4, 9.4 volts, that's DC. So we write that down, we take note of that. We also take note of the load, which is uh, 20,000 ohms. And then next we will be measuring the RPM of the Pelton wheel. You can see the the infrared sensor start to blink because there is a I drew a black line at the Pelton wheel in the runner of the Pelton wheel. So we're gonna get some readings here and it will show up in the laptop. So, it is, you can see the values, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the values are fluctuating, but you can see it's about 550, 550-ish uh, revolutions per minute, so we take note of that. And then finally, we will be measuring the volumetric flow rate. Using a stopwatch. So first thing, I will cover up the hole. With the suction cup. And then it's going to start to rise and start. So it crossed the first black line. And then it will. I will stop the timer when it crosses the... When it touches the next black line, which indicates 500 ml. And stop. So that took about 12.91 seconds, so we take note of that. And now I will remove the uh, cover, so the water will start draining again. So, um... Another cool way to measure the RPM of the um, Pelton wheel is through a function in the uh, multimeter called uh, the frequency. See, I pressed frequency, and then 
Now, instead, I will get, I will plug the the leads of the of the multimeter across the three phase uh, generator. Since this is a sine wave, and I know from experimentation that this is a four pole uh, synchronous uh, generator. So for every uh, one rotation of the Pelton wheel, the sine wave uh, completes uh, two cycles. And right now, the frequency of our sine waves, it is around 18.5 Hertz. Using the formula that calculates for the RPM, that is uh, 120 times your frequency of 18.5 sorry 18.5 uh, over the number of poles which is 2 which gives me 555 rpm and the infrared sensor was getting around 550 which is very very close which is very accurate so once you gather all that data you just have to tabulate it and uh, move across the load so get all that data and then unplug this and move it across in the next uh, resistance and then do the whole thing again and then keep going down that's all